There are 30,000 police dogs in the line of fire. So what if they had bulletproof vests too? ABC's Gio Benitez and the animal lover who is America Strong. They are heroes on the front lines, the first on the scene in the most dangerous confrontation. St. Paul Police K-9 is dead. The K-9 officer died. Shot and killed the dog. Just last month, K-9 Drago of Sacramento County shot in the chest while chasing a robbery suspect. He survived. I see. It's a headline that Officer Ed Myers hears all too often. My partner looks out for me. I look out for my partner. Partners that do their job without a crucial life-saving tool, a bulletproof vest. That's where Sandy Marcel comes in. Custom fitted canine vest costs $950, too expensive for most police departments. So Sandy, a lifelong animal lover, started vested interests in canines, working tirelessly from home to raise that money. The dog goes in first, he's a first responder, and he deserves to have the vest just like his human partner. We met Sandy at this Massachusetts Sheriff's Office, where six canines train every day, jumping hurdles, running through tunnels, wearing those vests. Since Sandy started 13 years ago, donations have poured in, big and small. Recently, 10-year-old Allison Henry donated her birthday money, enough to vest her local canine officer named Riker. So far, no canine has been turned away. In fact, more than 450 dogs have gotten that body armor in 37 states. Officer Myers' dog Barrage will get his in just weeks. What is it about a canine? Um, I think I see the bond when I look at each of these officers with their dog and I feel like I'm doing what I'm meant to do. Committing to her passion to protect canines. And that's what makes her America strong. Gio Benitez, ABC News, Bristol County, Massachusetts.